Robin Williams was a comedy legend, but even legends are fallible. So why exactly did his first marriage fall apart? The late Robin Williams will forever be remembered as a comedic genius whose career spanned the screen and stage. After his death by suicide in 2014, his private life has been the subject of intense interest to the public. In 2018, HBO released Robin Williams' Come Inside My Mind, a documentary exploring his complex life as an actor and comedian. The series takes a deep dive into his romantic relationships, particularly those with his three wives. The Goodwill Hunting star and his first wife were married from 1978 to 1988, before his career really took off. Williams and Valerie Velarde had one child together, Zach, in 1983. Their relationship ended in divorce due to the actor's infidelity, which his ex-wife discussed in the docu-series. He loved women. Loved women. And I got it. And I understood it. And I wanted him to have that. But I also wanted him to come home. While Valerie Velarde initially allowed her husband his infidelity, she said that they grew apart from each other for other reasons. As Williams' comedy career burgeoned, the recent college grad found that his new lifestyle didn't fit her. He was always looking for connection. And if he needed to pull out another character or an accent, he was shameless. Even the couple's divorce became mired in scandal, as Williams moved on from Velarde with Marcia Garces, their nanny. The complicated relationship led Williams to welcome his first child with Garces just a year after his divorce in 1989. Williams and Garces were married from 1989 to 2010 and welcomed two children together, Zelda and Cody. In 2008, the couple announced that they intended to file for divorce. No official reason has ever been given, but court documents cite irreconcilable differences as the reason. Some sources told People magazine that they split up because Williams relapsed into drinking after 20 years of sobriety. Just a short year after his second divorce, Divorce, Williams married his third wife, Susan Schneider. She was his partner from 2011 up until his tragic passing in 2014. At 63 years old, Williams took his own life, shocking the world and his family. Speaking about her father, his only daughter, Zelda Williams, issued a statement that read, in part, "'My family has always been private about our time spent together. It was our way of keeping one thing that was ours, with a man we shared with an entire world.'" Robin Williams had quietly struggled with substance abuse during the golden years of his career. In his final year of life, he also began to lose cognitive function, which took a further toll on his mental health. In an interview with USA Today, Williams' third wife, Susan Schneider, attributed his death to his struggles with a Parkinson's diagnosis. She said, Robin's suicide was really a consequence of brain disease. His brain was so compromised. I look at it like Robin wanted to end the disease. He just didn't realize that meant he would end, too. While Williams battled depression, Parkinson's, and undiagnosed Lewy body disease, Insensitive media coverage of the cause of his suicide frustrated the newly widowed Schneider. Instead of humanizing his struggle, news outlets were eager to determine why for his death. She said, For someone as brilliant as Robin, who put his heart and soul into his career, to just start losing his abilities? It was devastating for him to watch what it means to be human slipping through his fingers. Now, Schneider serves as a board member for the American Brain Foundation and aims to support research for the disease that took her husband's life. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please dial or text 988 to speak with a National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can also seek help by visiting 988lifeline.org.